alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Day two of quarantine. May Allah make it easy for all of us, especially those who are facing even tougher situations around the world. May Allah make it easy for them, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, bless them all with goodness. May Allah protect their families, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala relieve us of this trial and tribulation. I know I said I won't be speaking about the coronavirus or the COVID-19 phenomena and I'm going to be trying to get our minds off of it but uh, this is another opportunity where I found that I need to speak about the COVID-19 because of the sentiments regarding sentiments of it being a punishment from God <laughs> going out there by certain people you know hand picking and choosing uh, various ahadith to prove their point how can you attribute to the almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what he hasn't attributed to himself did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us in one way or another that the coronavirus is a punishment rather we find a total opposite ahad, uh, you know a message in the ahadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with regards uh, to the you know viruses and the pandemics and the epidemics and plagues uh, as such being a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a means of people turning back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm speaking about general ahadith not the hand-picked ahadith that you find on Mufti Google <laughs> on Google and whatnot inshallah, inshallah I'm working on a detailed article in this regard showing how it is just absurd to you know call these phenomena a punishment from God. There is, you know, a scholar out there, so to speak, you know, who is widely followed by certain segments of the ummah, saying, oh, this is a punishment of God, and Allahu Akbar, God sent this to, to the Chinese people, and this and that, all based on an anonymous dream. How absurd is that? And people... In the background, saying Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, uh, in agreement with the scholar. Is that what we've just been limited to? Just emotions and irrational feelings? Really wake up to reality. You're calling it a punishment for the Chinese people, but the entire world is suffering. You know, Alhamdulillah, I'm very thankful to some of these scholarly groups that I'm on. Some of the scholars who share a similar platform with me, they, they circulate material, much needed material actually, uh, at this time of desperation that is beneficial for the Muslim Ummah and it's beneficial for their scholars as well. One of the books that I found commonly circulating around in these groups is the book of Hafil ibn Hajar rahimahullah, Al-Hafil, the great scholar of Hadith and its principles. He wrote a book entailing the virtues of ta'un, the virtues of plagues, which could, you know, easily be applied to pandemics like the coronavirus as well. So I'm sort of basing my article on that book. There are certain hadith in his book as well, which basically, you know, with full transparency, I'm telling you, talk about these calamities being a punishment for the rebellious disbelievers. But who's to judge who the rebellious disbelievers are from general disbelievers? So really, you know, hold your horses in this regard before you make a bold judgment against the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who's the most merciful, right? Inna rahmati sabaqat ghadabi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written on his uh, th throne that my mercy overpowers my anger. So take a chill pill. But today I wanted to share an interesting hadith for all of us who are in quarantine, you know, feeling alone, feeling that, ah, oh God, why does this have to happen? Why do I have to be in quarantine? Why do I have to segregate myself away from society? Why can't I be chilling at the malls and the supermarkets? And the cinemas maybe for some of us. Why can't I be doing this? For some of us, we're asking, Oh God, you know, I really feel uh, deprived of making sujood on the masjid floors. 
Why is this happening? Why is this happening? The Prophet وسلم, his words give us hope. The Quran gives us hope. And the message of the Prophet وسلم, which is reflected or which is ref- reflecting of the Quran gives us hope as well. So the Prophet وسلم, mentions quarantine to us in a specific hadith. The Prophet وسلم, says in a hadith which really, for one, gives me a lot of hope being in quarantine and hopefully for those out there as well and for those who are suffering even worse than us. He says to reassure us of goodness, to give us the utmost hope. What does he say? لَيْسَ مِنْ رَجُلٍ يَقَعُ الطَّاعُونَ فَيَمْكُثُ فِي بَيْتِهِ صَابِرًا مُحْتَسِبًا يعلم أنه لا يصيبه إلا ما كتب الله له إلا كان له مثل أجر الشهيد الله أكبر A beautiful hadith I'm going to translate it in the next snap because my time is finishing in this snap So the hadith basically makes a mention that any time a plague takes place and this hadith could apply to pandemics as well because of how bad the situation has gotten you know this is a worldwide global pandemic so anytime such a phenomena takes place and people are quarantined in their home but they're patient and they're hoping for reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala despite the masajid being closed despite the nationwide lockdowns and they understand that any situation good or bad that takes place is from Almighty Allah then for for such a person they will get a reward of the martyr somebody who gives their life defending Islam defending Tawheed defending Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of course in the right meaning of so Hafiz ibn Hajar rahimahullah the great Hafiz Sab the great Hafiz uh, of Hadith says that this Hadith can apply to all those who are stuck in quarantine you know they are under that lockdown they can't leave their homes for fear of the pandemic that is out there this hadith will apply to every single person even if they don't die Allahu Akbar because the Prophet does not condition death in that hadith So without you passing away in this pandemic, inshallah, may this be the situation of the entire ummah, all of humanity, without you passing away, if you're on lockdown and you're patient, you're hoping for reward from Allah, you will get the reward of a martyr. So stay hopeful, inshallah. I'm hoping myself that this is my final message regarding the COVID-19 phenomena and that we divert our attentions away from it in this time of quarantine, in this time where we're stuck at home. But hopefully because we're patient and because we're hoping for reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will give us the best. So cheer up, stay hopeful, be with your family, smile at your family, and don't let your grumpiness overtake you in quarantine like it does overtake me sometimes and it's only my second day. And... uh, Besides my detailed article regarding, you know, the the coronavirus not being a punishment uh, tomorrow, I'm hopefully ending all talks and the, until further notice about the coronavirus. So stay blessed over and out. Salam.